Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose XBL I'll bring you another Batman Arkham Knight video. And today, what I got for you guys is my breakdown of the Batgirl DLC, A Matter of Family. Now, I've actually got a lot to talk about for this DLC, so let's get right on with it. Rated M for Mature. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, immediately, there's something that, or a few things that I want to point out here. First thing, uh, obviously, Batgirl, really excited to see her introduced in the Arkhamverse. Can't wait to see what her character plays like because there's not much that we can see in terms of her gameplay in this trailer. There's some stuff we can see for gadgets, but in terms of overall combat and stuff like that, we don't get too much of a look. There's a lot of flashes. But I also wanted to mention the setting. As you can see off in the distance there, this is set in an abandoned amusement park on an oil rig. Something that you can actually see in Batman Arkham Knight off the coast of Gotham. So that's really cool that you can see the setting of the Batgirl DLC. But overall... Like I've mentioned before when I was live streaming, this seems to be enough of a large environment to where you can kind of free roam, and I can't wait for that. That sounds so freaking cool. It also looks like uh, while you have the oil rig to kind of go around and do whatever you need to do, there's also places right off the oil rig there with those little towers in the water with the snipers on them that you can go to so that's pretty cool kind of expanding the mini open world that we're getting with this Batgirl DLC now the last thing I wanted to mention is as you can see on the left there that is the Tim Drake Robin and this is wrong on so many levels now first thing that's the Arkham Knight design for Tim Drake Robin which makes no sense because for those who don't know with the Arkham Universe timeline Tim Drake doesn't become Robin until after the events of Batman Arkham Asylum. In fact, he's only been Robin for two months when he shows up in Batman Arkham City. So for him to even be in this DLC, this Batgirl DLC which takes place before Arkham Asylum makes no sense already, but for him to be in the Arkham Knight Tim Drake suit that he is in makes even less sense. So it feels like something is going, like there must be some sort of weirdness going on here that maybe we don't see, but I just don't understand why WB Montreal is just messing with the continuity. This is this is too much, you know? This is going too far. You had an Arkham Origins design for Robin. Hell, there was a Jason Todd design for Robin. You can you can implement those things into this DLC and make it just less broken in terms of continuity. Sorry for the rant. Let's move on with the trailer. <laughs> Welcome one and all to now we get a nice little look at Harley Quinn's classic design. This is probably one of the coolest things this DLC is doing besides being able to play as Batgirl is giving Harley Quinn her classic design. And to be honest, while I was a little worried at first that it might not fit into the Arkhamverse in terms of design and how it looks, it friggin fits and she looks badass. Holy crap, Harley Quinn looks so freaking cool in the classic outfit, especially in the Arkhamverse. You know, it's not like this weird animated design. It totally fits. There's a shot at the end of the trailer with her next to the Joker, and uh, it's so freaking cool. I love the fact that they gave her her classic design. This is one of the coolest things they're doing with this DLC. While there are some continuity stuff that upset me, I am still, in fact, very much excited for the DLC. And one thing I should mention, in the back there behind Harley Quinn, I believe that is where Gordon is trapped. Now these cops here, <laughs> you can pretty much see both of them in the same shot. But these cops here, um, we know that the Batgirl DLC is going to have these side quests. And I do believe that these cops being kidnapped by Joker and Harley Quinn seem to be one of these side quests that are going to be in the DLC. You probably just have to save them one way or another, kind of similar to how you're saving the firefighters as part of a side quest in Batman Arkham Knight's story. So that's pretty cool to see. Tonight's special act, the magnificent nice new look at the Joker. One thing I'm very happy about, it's not the Arkham Origins design of the Joker, it's the Arkham like Asylum City Knight design of Joker. Really glad to see that. Loving the top hat. Friggin' loving that. That's so cool. And here is a nice look at Batgirl. Barbara Gordon, love the design for her as well. It's so badass. Joker's got my father. And there's Jim Gordon, as you can see, trapped in what seems to be kind of like a prison cell, whatever you want to call it. Wait, we should call Batman. Now, one thing I might notice, or sorry, one thing I did notice, if I father. can go back here for a second. Wait, we should call Batman. Uh, right there, you can see that is the same Tim Drake Robin that we saw earlier on in the trailer. However, in this shot, he actually has his hood up. 
That's where I think that things get a little interesting and you can kind of speculate because you overall look at this design that we have here and from the shot that we got in the beginning of the trailer, it looks kind of different. You can see the armor looks a little bit different. The redness doesn't go all the way down the arm, but it probably is just Tim Drake Robin, which is so weird. But with the hood down, that's badass. So I hope that's something we can get in this DLC where we get to play as Tim Drake Robin with the hood, you know, wearing the hood because that bald head... It's a little weird to look at. No, Joker specifically said he'd kill him at that We obviously are given a reason why Batman won't be appearing in this DLC. And then we jump in quickly to some of Batgirl's gameplay. And she seems pretty ruthless right here as you can see with the stomp of the heel. And then we jump right into some of the dual play. Joker's got an RPG. More dual play, all of this looks a ton of fun, and I just can't wait. And then, that's where we start getting into some of the core gameplay mechanics for Batgirl. You can see that she used one of her hacking abilities right there. Now, I mentioned on livestream that I was a little worried if her hacking ability was pretty much going to be the remote hacking device in Batman Arkham Knight. And while it does kind of seem that way in this DLC, it also doesn't. She seems to be able to control a lot more in the environment than Batman does. So that's pretty cool. You can kind of use a lot more of your environment to help you out in combat and predator scenarios. So I'm really glad to see that with the Batgirl DLC. You can see more instances of it here. She shut the lights off so that she can take out the enemies. That was really cool. This here with the, the firing of the RPG, it almost seems like it's like the finale to this DLC. You know, like the, the grand finale, the big closing scene. And then as I mentioned earlier on, this shot of the Joker and Harley Quinn. Oh my god, so cool. Almost like ripped out of the animated series, ripped out of the comics, everything. This just screams Joker and Harley Quinn. It just screams Batman Arkham. It screams the animated series. This is friggin' perfect. This is absolutely perfect. It's one of my favorite things from the DLC. Or the trailer, at least. But yes, that's pretty much all we've got for the Batgirl DLC. It comes out this Tuesday. I cannot wait. You can certainly expect a walkthrough on my channel. But what did you think of my breakdown slash analysis of the DLC trailer? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If there's anything I missed, let me know that as well in the comment section below. I'm CabooseXBL. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.